Okay, so a while ago, Cytron sent me a box of goodies and inside it were a couple of NVMe drives for Raspberry Pi. Now, I haven't got around to trying them yet. I've done a video before on their little SD cards, which worked great, and also the SSD drives, which you can see pictured on here. Uh, they basically come with Raspberry Pi OS pre-installed. So if you're gifting this to someone or if you just don't want the time to set it up, literally just plug it in and it will boot up fine. Now, I thought I'd get round to speed testing these because I want to try them out with my Orange Pi on something else I want to do and I need some NVMe drives and I don't have very many NVMe drives. So I had a look with all of the cases and various different adapters and things I've got to see what is compatible with NVMe. And pretty much everything I've got has uh, an M.2 drive but not NVMe drive. Uh, so both of these cases are M.2 drives. Now, a long time ago, I did a video with this adapter, which is an M.2 adapter, which is designed to fit a Raspberry Pi 4. And it was, I think to this date, the fastest speed test I've ever run. Uh, but unfortunately, I broke it. Uh, I plugged in separate power because it was often asking for extra power. And I thought, oh, I'll just plug in five volts into here. And for some reason, it blew it. So this doesn't work. Uh, the drive was fine, it's in my son's computer and he's been using it for ages, um, but uh, it doesn't work with either of these and it doesn't work with another NVMe drive I've got. So that one's out. I have got this Oracle drive, but I don't think it'd be a fair test because it's not UASP, so it's not the faster speed, this is USB storage. And it works fine, but it's not going to test it to its limits. I was waiting for uh, this. Uh, which is basically, I, so I used to have a Compute Module 4, but unfortunately the Compute Module 4 stopped working. I've ordered another one ages ago and it's never arrived, so uh, I'm still waiting for a Compute Module 4, but this would have been the way that I could have tested it, but unfortunately that's out as well. So what I'm going to have to do is use my Orange Pi, which has an NVMe M.2 slot on the bottom of it. So what I'm going to do is plug one of these in. They're both different sizes. So this one is the shorter one, 2242, 42 mil. And this one must be a 2280. Yeah, so you can see it's twice as long, nearly. So NVMe is very fast storage. So it's faster than normal M.2 SATA drives. It's faster than obviously SD cards, USB sticks, SSD drives, and so on. It's a bit limited on the Raspberry Pi 4. The one limitation on the Raspberry Pi 4 is there is no M.2 slot and you have to use USB 3. Now this Argon case is an M.2 SATA, not an NVMe drive, but I did find one online. Pi Hut have got one, uh, you can see at 27 pounds. Um, but when I looked at the Argon One site, I couldn't find any reference to it. So in all their accessories and everything. So I'm not sure if they still do it anymore or not. But uh, I wonder if they have discontinued that model uh, because I could only find it here available at the time. Now in all my speed tests, I've always used the Raspberry Pi SD card speed test. It's a really simple readout. It's designed just to test SD cards, but it tests faster drives as well. And uh, if we scroll down, uh, it gives instructions on how to install it on a different device. So I'm on my Orange Pi 5 now, and uh, you can see here, sudo apt update, sudo apt install agnostics. Unfortunately, it can't find it when you do that. Uh, but if you scroll down, in fact, I've got it here in the comments, and there's loads of comments. This one from El Mario Fredo. I uh, hope I got that right. Uh, it's quite simple and there's some instructions here and uh, it's installed into this. Now this is just running off a USB stick at the moment uh, and if I just go into terminal, in fact I don't need to go into terminal because I've copied it into my documents. Uh, so documents and I can just run it here. So run as a program and you'll see that it will go through the three tests just like it normally does on a Raspberry Pi. And unfortunately, uh, it disappears if you run it that way. So let's go back to the terminal and do it that way. So the command to run it is this one. And paste that in. And it's just doing the third run now. Let's make this a bit longer so we can get it all in on the screen. And I generally look through the results and look for the best one uh, with the random read speed. So what, 2825, 2870. 
uh, and we've got a random write speed of three, four, seven, six. So let's just take a photo of that on my iPad and I can go back to that later because this is not about the Samsung bar, this is about the NVMe drives. So this operating system I'm using is Monka's version of Ambien and uh, it works really well but it doesn't boot from my NVMe drive inside the Orange Pi 5 so I'm going to use an operating system I know does boot from that. There's probably some tweak you can do. Uh, weirdly it works from this, uh, this USB NVMe drive but not when it's actually installed in the Orange Pi 5. I haven't done loads of testing on it, um, but I just thought I'd mention it. So this drive from Oracle is super cool for being able to add uh, an NVMe drive to your device. So you can see here, it's got like a little rubber bung. You just pull that out and then you've got access to your drive. So this is the one I've used in any of my other videos with NVMe. So let's pop this one in and pop that little holder in place little heat sink on top and it just slides in and clips together no screws or anything needed simple as that let's plug it in it's just easier to plug it into my dock uh, this is only to write the operating system to this drive you can see it's recognized the drive there. Uh, so if I, I think I'm gonna install Raspberry Pi Imager. I've got Belena Etcher on here, but I prefer Imager. So the app to install RPI-Imager. And I haven't changed the password on this. It's Ambien at the moment. And yes. And it feels pretty fast off this Samsung bar. So that's all done. So if I press the Windows key and start typing Raspberry, you can see Imager comes up and I haven't got an OS yet. So let's download the custom Ubuntu. Uh, so I'll get the link from here, from Joshua Reich. So there's the official link. Not sure if there's a later version. No, it's just the, so I've tried this version already. So let's download the version for my Orange Pi 5 and come back when that's all done, six or seven minutes. So that's just finishing now. So I can go back to Imager, choose OS, Scroll down to the bottom and use custom. You can see the Ubuntu I've just downloaded is in here. And open. Choose storage. So Realtek, yeah, this is the one. And hit right. And yes. Okay, so that's shut down now. So let's unplug this. And get the drive out. And pop it into my orange pie. And I've got it loose at the moment, so this case comes like this, but obviously you can't get a short drive in. You get a long drive in, but you can't get a short drive in and out very easily. Uh, I'm just gonna put some rubber feet probably on the bottom of this, but it'll be fine like it is at the moment. So let's switch off, unplug this USB drive, and switch on. And hopefully we get a blue light. Okay, so it didn't boot up inside, but I've put it back into the USB adapter and it's booting up fine. Not sure why that is. Usually I can just write an operating system straight to the drive and then put it in and it boots up. Okay, so that's booted up. Let's, let's just shut it down and see if now it's done its first boot, if it will boot up inside here. It's done all its first time set up. Switch off. Pop this back in and start up again. No, it's not booting up. Okay, so I've just installed Orange Pi OS, the Debian version with KDE Plasma installed, and it didn't work inside the machine, but it is again working in the adapter, so I can't seem to get anything to boot from the NVMe slot. But I'm just gonna go into Orange Pi config and see if I can change something. So let's press the Windows key and start typing Orange, and Orange Pi config comes up and orange pi is the password. We should have an option about update the bootloader here, but we haven't, so I've Googled it, and there's a Reddit post from CubGeek that uh, has the same issue. If you go to system and then firmware, do you want to update the board firmware? Yes. Okay, it's definitely downloading something. Firmware has been updated, reboot, so I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so loads of things haven't been working. Um, so I've booted up Ambien on an SD card. And I've got this option here, install update the bootloader on mounted flash. 
So I'm guessing that could be at my NVMe drive, which is plugged in a USB. So let's hit OK and let's say yes. And cross fingers. OK, so it looks like that's done. Just going to try shutting down and then restarting with just the NVMe drive in place. OK, so I'm happy to say that it has finally worked. So you can see there's no SD card in here, nothing in the USB. It is running from, and I must be careful here because uh, I haven't put a screw in it. Uh, it is running from the NVMe drive on the bottom of the Orange Pi. So uh, that last fix is the one that works for me. And possibly that fix may work for Android. I've had quite a few people comment about not being able to get Android working from an NVMe drive. Uh, so I need to have a look at that. I've definitely had it working from an NVMe drive a while ago, but I haven't tried it for a long time. I mostly mess about with SD cards just because it's so simple. But uh, yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. Okay, so let's speed test this NVMe drive. Launch Chromium and SD card diagnostics Raspberry Pi. So it'll be this one. Can't remember the name of the commenter, so let's scroll down. Here we go. So let's copy and paste everything. Oh, we've got KDE Plasma, so we can do some snapping. Control Alt T, does that work in this? No, it doesn't. But I can start typing terminal and launch that. And let's get this nice and big and paste that in. Ah, right, okay. And Orange Pi. So I've got to be a super user to be able to do this. So let's paste that in. Oh, so let's paste that in. Queue up the next bit. You might be able to just copy and paste all of this in, but uh, I didn't before, so I figured I've had so many things I've had to try and work out in this video. Right, so copy that. And paste that in. And the last bit, which is the bit that actually does the test. And hit return. Yeah, it's doing the test. Run one, run two. Oh, crikey, that was fast. Wow. That was so fast compared to uh, the USB stick. Let's compare with my iPad. So the photo I took earlier on, and I was going from run two. So sequential write speed was 30,552. And what we got here, 392,000 sequential write speed, 390,000 and 380,000. So 10 times the sequential write speed. Random write speed, 3,476. Gosh, that's 10 times more as well, pretty much. 36,817. And then the random read speed, 2,870. Random read speed, 32,125. That is ridiculously fast. NVMe drives are so nice to run an operating system on. So you wouldn't get those speeds on a Raspberry Pi 4 because it doesn't have the interface. Possibly with a Compute Module 4 with one of the adapters that supports it. Um, but yeah, that's really impressive to see. So what does that compare to so if I do a search for Lee PSP video NVMe this used to be easier before the orange Pi. ah there we go uh, because there wasn't very many videos on Raspberry Pi with it so what were the speed test results on the NVMe drive on the Raspberry Pi before so we've got, uh, so on the Raspberry Pi, so the fastest test I think I've ever had, 324,435, and well, I usually take the fastest random read speed, 32.4, 32.1, 32 32.2. Right, so this last one here. So sequential write speed went from 324,435 to 387,786, so definitely an improvement. Random write speed went from 20,970 to 35,694, so that's a lot better as well. And random read speed was twice as quick, 15,580 versus 32,443. Great results, really impressed with the drive. Okay, so I'll definitely be looking into more 
NVMe boot problems and, and solutions in the future. I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.